Hey guys, welcome to the Lunch Hour Review. Today I'm going to try this Wei Chon. I don't know how you say it, but that's what it looks like. This one is the stewed beef noodle soup with vegetables, and it looks like that supposedly. Um, this is frozen, it is microwavable, it is 17.8 ounces or one pound, 1.8 ounces. It's a pretty good sized meal. We bought this at Kroger, it was $5.99, but it's a pretty good sized bowl, like I said, of uh, food, it feels like. So if you eat the whole thing, it's 520 calories. There's your other info if you'd like. So directions, you can see there's, if you want to read it in um, whatever. Um, so must be cooked thoroughly. Remove bowl from the outer card and tear um, off round top. Close the side panel. Okay. Tear off round top of the bowl. I mean the cardboard thing. Um, close the side panel, place the bowl on the bowl holder, then pour one sixth cup of hot water over the frozen noodles. Hmm, I'll have to go get that. I'll, I'll get, I'll have to pause this and go get it. Microwave from frozen. Uh, first set on high for five minutes. Stop, spread out noodles on top evenly. Uh, and then set for another three to four minutes on high or until internal temperature reaches 165. Um, da -da 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 -da. Before serving. And then it says remove from microwave, handle with care for best results. Add another 44, uh, 40 cc's of hot water before serving. Huh. Interesting. So let me go, let me go get some water. I'll be right back. Okay, I got some water. I don't have anything that goes that low, but it is what it is. So anyway, let me, let me get this going and we can see what it looks like. I think that's a little ridiculous. Um, it does have a pull tab, if I can grab it. Um, to add that amount of water, that's, that's a little silly. Okay, so there's that. Let me close this back up. Oh, I'm gonna pop out the hole in the top, I guess. I also don't know what the point of this is. This um, holder, I mean, it's a, it's a, it feels like a pretty sturdy bowl, so I don't know what the point of having this little holder in there is for. I have no clue. Maybe it's gimmicky, maybe it actually does something. I have no clue. So I'm gonna close this package back up. Okay, I'm gonna put this in there, okay. I'm going to open this lid and we're going to add this minuscule amount of water to it. Okay. Put the lid back on. I'm assuming we put the lid back on. I'll tell you what, I'm going to take this out. This deal with the box is a pain. Alright, so I'm going to... Get this in the microwave and uh, I'll be back. All right, so I've got a little liquid here if I need it. It said if you add it if you want to. It looks like it has plenty in there. I don't back up the camera so it won't. Um, it looks like there's plenty of liquid. I don't know why you'd want to add more liquid. Wow, look at those. What is that? Look at that green stalk. I mean, look at that thing. Um, it's, like, it's like, wow. The beef, oh, there's the beef. I think that it all went down to the bottom. I don't know about those leafy vegetable things. I don't know what the heck that is. But anyway, looks like spinach, but it's still got the stalk on it. Yeah, anyway, I'm going to let this cool off for a minute, take it over the table. Definitely do not need more liquid. It's got plenty in there. So uh, I'll be right back. All right, you have to really dig for the, the steak. There's not a whole lot in here. There are, you know, five or six pieces, but there's not a lot. So here we go. I didn't get a piece of the green yet. I will try it, but um, there's a steak of noodles and um, some of the broth is on there, of course. I like the flavors. Um, the flavor is really good. The steak, um, not tough, but not really tender either. It's kind of like in between. Um, the flavor is good though. Yeah, I could really get the texture there. Um, the texture is like a um, not a really cheap piece of steak, but a cheaper piece of steak. No, so not like ribeye or anything like that, but like a, a sirloin or something like that. That's that's kind of the texture. It's not really tough and grisly, but it is firm um, piece of steak. 
I'm trying to take a bite of these noodles. The noodles are very, um, like thick. There's a lot to the noodles. They're, you can see how thick the noodles are. Um, not like a ramen noodle where they're really tiny. These are, these are got some, um, size to them. So when you're eating the, the noodles, you get a, um, you get some chew in there. Let me see if I can cut some of the, I really don't want this. Well, it's pretty soft, but I still don't want that big stalk. Um, I'd probably just have the leafy part. It looks like spinach, honestly. It's kind of got a, um, not, well, it kind of has a slimy texture to it. Like, um, I don't know, it's very uh, chewy and kind of got a, a film on it. So the green part I wouldn't eat, but uh, the rest of it I would. Um, Flavor-wise, it's good. It tastes like a seasoned steak um, with um, like some other spices in there. Um, you know, you get your salt, and pepper, and maybe a little bit of uh, sesame oil, and maybe a little bit of um, you know like garlic and onion kind of flavors. Um, it's really hard to tell what the flavors are, honestly. I like it. I, I don't. I don't think I would buy it all the time, but I do like the flavors. Um, the steak has a really good flavor to it. Again, the 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 texture is not um, super super soft, but it's also not really really tough either. It's it's not bad at all. There's not a lot of the steak though, so I've gotten like what three pieces maybe. Here's a piece. Here's a good sized piece. Yeah, so there's like five or six pieces of steak, which is what I figured there would be. Um, that's what I, that's what it seemed like, and it all sinks to the bottom, so you gotta kind of gotta dig for it. Yeah, and they're all about that size too. And you can see the steam rising up. I want to try just some of the broth, the broth spoon over here. I want to try just some of the broth by itself, see what it tastes like. It's got a good flavor to it. It's like a, almost like a beef, uh, a beef stock, um, gravy kind of, not gravy, beef stock um, soup. Um, it's not bad. It's uh, it's not quite as meaty as like a beef stew, but it's um, it kind of reminds you of that meaty kind of flavor. It's very salty, um, and you can definitely get the the pepper, like salt and pepper, the ground pepper. You can get the pepper flavor in there. I don't think it's bad. I don't think it's great. I don't think it's bad. I'm gonna give it. It takes a while to cook too. Um, Hmm. I'm gonna give it like a three and a half. It's above average, but it's not quite up to a four or five. I'm gonna give it a three and a half out of five. I think that's fair. The steak's good. I wish there was more of it, or uh, maybe it was in smaller pieces where it would spread out more, but uh, beyond that, yeah, flavors are pretty decent. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.